battery's dead. Well, under 50%. I need to go on a longer ride. Welcome to Switch It Up. Okay, so here's the thing. Many of you know, about two years ago, I got this wonderful scooter. I love this scooter. It's one of my favorite toys, this scooter. It's made by Varla. It can go about anywhere from 38 to 40 miles an hour on average um, when it's fully charged on two electric motors. But did you know, fun fact, we've had this thing for a little over two years. They came out with a new one. Yeah, and we're gonna do a comparison today. In my truck, I got a box and I'm super excited about it. But first things first, I gotta charge this one up. So I'm gonna roll the intro, charge this one up while we unbox the other one and we'll do a comparison. I think that'd be fun. Let's do that today. So roll the intro. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. And they didn't know where they would go. But it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. I am. Well, pow. Oh. I'm gonna have to recruit some help. I think with the box and everything, it's like 100 pounds and it's a little, it's a little awkward. We're gonna see. We'll get some help. Can you help me for a second? What do you need? See? RV life. See? <laughs> Just jump right in. I gotta carry this box over, okay. over here. Let me set the camera down. Get it down. It is super awkward to grab. Yep. Life happens. Beer helps. That's your shirt. Life happens, but beer helps. I'll get you some beer for helping. First impressions. Barla Eagle One Pro. And just looking at the picture on here, this whole shaft right here, seems like it's gonna be a thicker shaft. Tires look like they're about the same. Platform looks a little bigger from the picture. So I'm anxious to see what it's like. So let's just jump into it, rip it all apart, and then charge it and see what we come up with. If you're looking for a scooter, I cannot think of a better scooter. Honestly, two shocks on each wheel, dual motors, it's it's the best. I, I, I know I see people getting regular scooters that you know, you're used to riding around with in the city. No, this is different. It's just a whole different experience. Okay, let's jump into it. All right, so here's where we're at. We've had the other Varla for about two years and it's been fabulous. They came out with it first and they just happened to find one of our videos and I was like, man, I would love to try this out, especially after going around to like a lot of different RV parks where you have to go and choose your spot. So I was looking for a solution that we didn't have to pull off a bike and we could just jump on it and go. And that's why I was so excited to get it. And since then I fell in love with it because going on and off road and through dirt and through grass and everything, it's been great. The Pro is gonna have an extended distance and a little bit bigger battery and it's a little heavier. So let's just unbox. I'll use this to kind of get close-ups and we'll kind of get an idea of what we're looking for. First things first. What you need to realize is that this scooter is 90 pounds. Yeah, you heard that right, 90. It weighs more than our e-bikes. It actually weighs, I think the other scooter is like 75 pounds, so it's 15 pounds heavier. Oh, look at this, it's almost all assembled. All right, I see you, Barla. looks like they just Look at the packaging in this thing. Look at this. Wow. I don't know the best way about going about this. Check this. Ugh. <laughs> 
total weight you can hold up to I think 330 pounds somewhere around in there. <laughs> I know you're saying Todd just lay it down but it's an unboxing video. Look at this. Extend. Wow. Just the sheer size of it in comparison. That's probably why they call it the Pro, right? So a little handle off the road a little bit better. So it looks like what I have to do is attach the, really all I have to do is attach the handlebars. Okay, so there's a benefit here, just so you know. So now that I have two scooters, that means I have two chargers. That means also that this has two charging ports, which means that when I go to charge, two chargers going into this will charge in about six to seven hours. Same with my other Varla scooter. So it's a lot of times people will order a second charger so that they can charge faster. One charger will take approximately 11 to 14 hours to fully charge. And that one back there, which I'll pull up here in a second to do the comparison, will charge on average nine to 11 hours. So now that I have two chargers, instead of ordering one, because now I have two scooters, I'll probably have to charge in half the time. On my other scooter, looks like they've handled this. Works. Oh, oh, Barla. Check this out. Okay, so on my other scooter, I'll show you the locking mechanism here in a minute. But this locking me mechanism, when it comes into the two, generally it gets a little like, feels like it's flimsy. What they've done on the Pro is they have an interlocking area with metal and it screws together. That, oh, has a, a really good stability. I like where you're going with this. Okay. Uh, so this has actually been pretty good. It's only had um, the four screws for the handlebars and then there's only two screws for the control module but I am sitting here thinking about the weight so 90 pounds is what it's weighing in at and back here is a door so when we would go to campgrounds I would simply and we had to find like a spot and we couldn't um, they hadn't didn't have a spot assigned to it to us we would uh, pull the scooter out well at 75 pounds that's pretty heavy now we're looking at 90 pounds so I am curious even though I'll feel more stable on it, it's gonna be good um, to pull in and out like I was doing in the past. Or I might just put it in the truck and use it that way. Either way, it has been a lifesaver on many occasions. Okay, let me hook this stuff up. Yeah, that's it. I don't think there's keys. My other one has keys, but I don't think this has keys. Oh, there's a bell. Barla, I'm not putting the bell on. If I'm going 45 miles an hour and I'm gonna ring a bell, there's gonna be an issue. <laughs> yeah, um, here's a little nugget for you. These, these little things where I thought they were just tags. Um, Barla, I, I cut the string. I guess I need to tie that back together. These are actually the key to your Varla. It's a wireless key. Didn't see that coming, did you? I didn't see this coming. So yeah, I got a little premature. I just thought they were like, hey, this is a nifty little key, like or a little tag. No, no, it's the key. Don't don't throw these away. It's important. So my previous one over here actually has a regular key. This, I guess, you hold next to this little symbol, and you hold down the power for three seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, <gasps> and voila. It works. Don't throw this away. There's two of them. Man, I almost made that mistake. Now, now I'm feeling before I go and do this, I should probably read these instructions for a minute since there has been some changes. Since I almost threw the key away, so let me let me read through this real quick. I know what you're thinking. What happens if I lose this key? Well, I got an answer. It looks like I can take the key and somehow or another get it to connect to my phone so now I can actually use the Varla using my phone. Okay, while I'm looking through this, we have a, um, a frame warranty of 24 months, 
we have a motor warranty for 12 months and since there's two motors one in each wheel that's 12 months battery is 12 months and the charger is 12 months there you go it just says um, free maintenance things like that so there's your warranty throttle and controllers are 24 months we're at 87 percent on the charge okay so there's something i've already noticed one on my other scooter the controller for the throttle is actually a finger controller on your right hand this is actually a thumb controller which i don't know if i'm gonna like that steering a lot stiffer oh my whole bunch of stiffness so it's at zero 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 is the odometer i guess i'll grab a helmet and we'll go on a ride real quick First impressions. Um, Got to keep both hands on the steering wheel. It's probably windy. Let me stop. First impressions. It's touchy. It's kind of touchy. So on the current Barla, you have three different motor options. I think this is in dual dual motor all the time. I have it in one. We did about. I think I did like 17 miles an hour. okay this don't play this don't play at all like this is a monster third gear i had it to 35 miles an hour in a short piece in a short run so let me see there's a little off-road place over here let me see if i can run through here i'll put you down so you can see This is all like sand and like lots of sand and lots of coarse tailings. Besides me getting a little jittery going through sand, it handles it like a, like a pro. That's the reason I love scooters so much. Okay, we're gonna go back, see if I can find some people to try this wonderful little scooter out and see what they get their thoughts. We'll go from there. And we'll maybe do a comparison from the old scooter to this scooter and see what you guys think. Okay, that was fun. Let's do a comparison. We have a guest. He said, let me try it. He's on his scooter. He got a nice little scooter here. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, introduce yourself. Sean. Sean is here to play. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a heads up. This scooter, the steering is really tight when you're riding it and you'll have to lean more like kind of like a motorcycle i'd say okay. than trying to turn it you're going to see that here in a second i have it set in two and there's three gears so one is the slowest and then it goes about 15 which is probably comparable yeah, to that was... two will go up to like 25 and three will go to 45 miles an hour in a quick <laughs> it, you don't want to go that fast that's why i'm wearing a helmet start with one and then go to two and you're going to be like okay and then we'll get your opinion. It's big, isn't it? Yeah, it's really big. Right, that does it's tight. Does it's it have a dampener on it? I don't know. I don't know. It's my first ride on it. Wow. It's up higher too. It is. And your throttle, is your throttle a thumb throttle on that? Or yeah. is it oh it is like a thumb a, throttle? You push down on it. So okay. Yeah. Alright, have fun. <laughs> there is an adjustment period. Um, because there's so much power to them whereas when you're riding you know the the smaller scooters that you can get remember there's no shocks on those or anything so these have shocks and then you have disc brakes it's just different feeling you keep going man go take it for a ride there you <laughs> now that'll put a smile on you <laughs> well, yes it does that acceleration is something in it it's just it feels different like you're gonna fly off the back of it yeah so and that's only one you didn't even go no, up to I two it, i put it in two and three oh, oh you did see the acceleration <laughs> difference <laughs> okay so we got our first beginner person so he rides harleys all the time so i i i know he can handle himself oh, but yeah. we're gonna keep it in one since he's a beginner and then he's gonna go down you just gotta tell me what you think okay have you, you never rode a scooter uh, a kid. So. A kid. Okay, so there we go. We know he's got balance. Anyway. 
it's in one it won't it the, the takeoff is going to be a little you can push off with your foot till you get your balance oh, it's cool. not hard it the, the, the takeoff's the scariest part but then after that it's not bad at all oh. push your thumb in there you go it takes your time just like anything else it takes time to get used to stuff so this one is no different since it has so much power coming out of the gate you can't really um you could probably adjust it if i went in to do that but i, I don't know it's just a really good ride really i really like it huh right and you use both brakes yeah, that's a as a first time ride though what do yeah. you think oh, a little yeah. intimidating at first. at first yeah but you're right once you once you get going, going because of the little jerking thing in the beginning you have right. to kind of use it with the thumb thing but i'm pretty sure if you do it a couple times you yeah know. all right so i did an unboxing of the very first varla i'll leave the link in here in the description so you can see how that all went down yep. what it Oh, we do a stop test. <laughs> Probably not great on the tires, but we got it. You got to put it through the thing. That's awesome. Oh, I got it on dual mode. Sorry, but you're all right. Just go slow. Does it feel weird? Well, that's going a lot faster than I thought. That was about two years ago. And this is the Barla Pro. So let's go over some statistics with you real quick. So both of them have a thousand watts. And that's basically dual hub motors and that's times two and they go the the varla pro will go 45 miles on a charge the regular varla will do 40 miles on a charge both of them claim that they'll get up to 45 miles an hour um, that which is pretty fast 330 pounds of cargo capacity which honestly no offense varla i've kind of gone over that because my wife and i both will double ride on this she'll stand in front of me and i'll stand behind her i weigh a 200 and I won't say what my wife weighs so we, we and then we usually carry stuff the springs and everything on these are fabulous and we're only going like 10 15 miles an hour to go somewhere so that's why I love these so much is because it gives the versatility of taking one thing if you're just gonna go buzz around and have dinner with somebody in an RV park in the middle of the night um, also it goes over torque it goes over like the computer system this the original they have two charging ports things like that. This actually gave me the option to use both motors or one motor to extend the distance that we were driving. And I usually w operate both motors anyway. This, no offense, I just haven't had time to look. It's running in two motors. I can't, there's no button or anything to change that. So apparently I'll find that out. But um, as of now, it's already running two motors. So I don't have to worry about that. Quick cut in. Here's the thing. I figured out how to shut off the other motor. You actually hold down one of the buttons and then it can go to single motor versus double so just i just had to throw that in there i did figure that out helps when you read instructions now on with the show over here they also have an eco mode or turbo mode eco mode just takes off a little slower allows you to get extended battery life this is just flat out let's go and get it done two different rides um the ride in the farla pro the steering this steering right here is super tight so a lot of this, you're gonna be leaning into your turns because I think it's made for higher speeds. But I think the reason for that is, is the way the tires are made. So the tire on this, now they could have changed this since the Barla came out, but the tire on this is a more flat tire. It's an 11 inch tire. The tire on the Barla itself is, I think a 10 inch tire and it's a more rounded. And it's a little, it's like, it's a lot looser. I mean, you could tell. I mean, over here, I have to work to turn this thing this you can tell another thing that I really like that they've changed is how the mechanism is to fold down this part this is pretty loose as you can see and it's only because it's a locking ring that goes over the, the top of this so you pull the locking ring up and then it folds down so it always feels like this is loose it never gets tight they've solved this with this with a screw mechanism that screws in and then they have a pin that goes in through the center so that helps out tremendously as far as like you feel like just a lot a lot of stability this is perfect if you're a little bit bigger person um, because you just feel like you have more control this is more like leisurely ride my wife loves this scooter now Varlick actually came out with a new scooter that'll go 28 miles 28 miles an hour not 45 
has two suspensions just like this, just smaller and lightweight. I think it runs in and around 69 pounds, somewhere right around there. And so you can check that out too, because they just literally came out with that. And I think it's priced around $1,100, $1,200. This is gonna run around 1600 ish. This is gonna run around 2100 ish. So kind of gives you, you know, they always do promo codes, things like that. As a matter of fact, I'll have to check. If, if they send me a promo code or something, I'll put it down in the description so you can find that. But honestly, I'm loving it. Like I just put like three miles on, which is nothing, because I, I know I need to charge it up completely. Having the scooter has been game changing for us when we're out in RV world. So if you're looking for that, something a little different, maybe not having to deal with bikes to pull in and out. What if you're a van lifer? And if you're a van lifer and you're trying to figure out, well, how do I get to point A to point B? I don't need to take up as much space. I can just use one scooter and you, both of you could ride it to like a grocery store. Or let's say that you're in a campground that is kind of rocky or maybe sandy soil. I mean, these work great. Like you can get around from point A to point B, go see friends um, in the campground, go to a grocery store, run over to a convenience store. You got 45 miles. Honestly, most of the time when we're riding, we're only going probably 10 to 15 at a time anyway. So remember though, the tip on having two chargers that if you end up getting one, if you, have, if you buy two chargers, I don't know how much the second charger is, it'll charge in that six to seven hours versus waiting that 12 to 14 hour range if you only have one charger since it has two charging points. That's a, that's a little tip for you as far as that goes. I hope you like this little review. I wish it was a little more scientific, but all I can say is, is after two years of riding this, I am super excited to have one for my wife to ride, and now I'll have something to ride as well. So if you see us out and about, see us at a, some sort of campground somewhere, and you see us running around, stop us. We'll let you take a ride. It's a lot of fun. I think you'd be very pleasantly surprised. So with all that being said, we are out.